Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Education Minister wants action against Gage Gray. Education Minister Fiba Williams yesterday afternoon called for the head of the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, Rosalie Gage Gray, to step down as the Public Service Commission looks into allegations of gross breach of care against her. Further, Williams said she has asked her permanent secretary to use her administrative powers in the matter as she believes that the situation against Gage Gray is untenable and cannot be defended. An investigation by the Office of the Child Advocate, OCA, cited gross breach of the care of controversial partnership between the CPFSA and American Call, who was flagged in the U.S. over inappropriate sexual contact with a child. Children's Advocate Dana Gardner-Harris' 93-page report contained 10 findings and 4 recommendations, one of which is for the disciplinary action to be taken against Gage Gray for her gross breach of the duty of care owed to the wards of the state and former wards. Williams said the OCA report has been forwarded to the police for further investigation. Expressing shock and disappointment, Williams said a clear message must be sent that those with the responsibility for the management and oversight of children in the care of the state must do so with integrity. This is a damning report, Madam Speaker. I am enraged when I consider that here in the report, the explicit directives were given. There was constant follow-up. Madam Speaker, the situation is untenable. It cannot be defended. At the same time, I acknowledge that there has to be due process. There are two offices, that of the Permanent Secretary and that of the Public Services Commission, that are the constituted authority to assess these matters and make the right decision. When the report came to me from the OCA, I met with and requested of the Permanent Secretary that she write to the Public Service Commission as I was advised that such a letter can only come from the Permanent Secretary to the, the Public Service Commission, the constituted administrative office. Such a letter has been written. I received a copy today. A strong signal has to be sent that it is zero tolerance on behaviors that seek to compromise the duty of care of our vulnerable children in state care. I have accepted the report of the OCA and the recommendations in the report. Based on the report of the OCA, it is not in the best interest of our children in state care for the CEO of the CPFSA to remain as head of agency while further investigation takes place. And so I call on her to step aside at least while the Public Service Commission completes its deliberations. We have to send a clear signal of zero tolerance for the care of children and that she, yes, to step aside at least until the Public Service Commission completes its deliberation. It is only decent for that to happen. Construction worker charged over Manchester robbery. Manchester construction worker, 38-year-old Courtney Fawkes, otherwise called Junior, has been charged over a robbery at a business in the parish. Fawkes was charged on Monday with sharp breaking and larceny after he was questioned the presence of his attorney. His court date has not been finalized. The police say the incident happened on the night of Friday, January 6, in Woodlawn Crescent in George's Valley. Reports from the Mandeville police are that about 10 p.m., the complainant secretly locked his business establishment and went home. Upon his return the following day, he realized that the padlock was missing from the grill. It is alleged that folks gained entry and took several items from the premises. A report was made to the police and folks was arrested. He was subsequently charged. Fool's Goal Hanover residents hope for windfall dashed by geological experts. Yeah, this is goal. Yeah. We'll take this. Yeah. I see you're going through this side. Find anything so far? A little bit, no more. Okay, okay. And how long you have been here searching? Water over. Water over. Okay. All right.
Unpacking the wall. You're unpacking it to sort for more. Caretaker Macintosh visits Chester Castle, supports mining residents. It's Winter Macintosh, Council Caretaker for the Chester Castle Division, Hanover Eastern. Today we are here after a number of calls has been coming to my phone because there is a substance that was found in Chester Castle that is alleged that it is gold. So I'm here for myself to get personal information and to assist the resident in whatever way is possible that, that this can be a reality if it's possible. So we are here today, the residents have high hopes that there could be gold that is found here. Right now what they are doing is unpacking the pit that, 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 that the substance is being found because they are thinking that they are severe to be had. And they're quite right. There is never in, in, in the history of Chester Castle digging a pit that they would have found this kind of substance. Mm -hmm. So quite so, they are here today um, searching. As you have seen, there are a number of persons that are been searching because the stuff is there, that evidence is there. So I'm here to give them whatever support they can as someone who seeks to represent them in the Hanover Municipal Corporation when those elections are called. So I'm here with the people, for the people. You're searching too? You're searching too? Searching? Yeah, are you searching too? No matter, I will represent the people the next time around. So you have but but you haven't been searching yeah. for gold? No, well, well, I, I, have, I have had from a gold resident a sample, yes. of which I have, and I know I'll be able to get more. Well, Chances are I might start search too, because gold is gold. So certainly, I'm here to support the residents in, in their undertaking mm -hmm. to see if they can find the substance, which is good. Okay, and um, it's about over a week. That it, it's over a week now that, that, that they are searching uh, for this material. And as you can see there, um, and as I indicated earlier, we have never ever faced this kind of substance here in Chester Castle. So it's All right. unprecedented, and, and, and the citizens have a right to think that there could have been something meaningful. Mm -hmm. So they are here, and I'm here in full support Tell me right. something. This is a farming community. Such a fine. What could it mean for the community? This is a rural farming community, and I'm sure if the substance found here today is it, for real that it is gold. It is... It is upward movement for the citizens not only in Chester Castle not only in Chester Castle but um, a number of, of, of communities that, that have inspired of Chester Castle so and even Western Jamaica could, 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 could feel the, the impact of what is happening here today mm -hmm. and so and so I am hopeful myself that the substance found here is real substance. Tell me something else. From time to time you have findings in Jamaica. Uh, I think, what was it, Clarendon and you know, Westmoreland also. Um, but at the end of the day, the amount, the quantity that's found is not enough to become profitable. So yeah, you're quite right. Um, from time to time, even Hot Grove a few years ago, um, some substance were found, but it could not substantiate um, mining of, of any sort. And so, if this is real. And I'm hopeful that this is not one of those situations where there is not enough 
for a real um, exercise to be undertaken that the resident can 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 feel satisfied and their efforts that they are putting in here today would have become a reality please remember to subscribe like share and click the notification bell